Игорь Харченко. I'm not interested in the beauty of ceramic surfaces, in the astonishing variety of layers, in the wealth of color. For me, black and gold and the natural color of burnt clay are enough. I think the energy of black contains all colors. Black color fascinates me. It is the color of eternity. Over 35 years, Igor Hachinka devoted to ceramic sculpture. Born in the family of a painter and architect, he chose ceramics as the most ideologically free form of art in the 70s in the USSR. At the same time, he always treated clay as one of the materials for creating sculpture. He also created graphics and painting throughout his life. Having started to participate in exhibitions in the early 80s in Leningrad, as soon as it became possible, he began exhibiting abroad. And in 1989, took part in the first Biennale in Faenza, Italy. In 2005, he became a professor at the Stiglitz Academy in St. Petersburg and became a source of inspiration and creative experimentation in the art of ceramics for many generations of students. In 2015, he moved to Montenegro, becoming an ideologist and organizer of the ceramic studio at Dukele European Art Community in Kodor. Since 2019, he has been an invited member of the Academy International of Ceramics. His works are in the collections of Volvo, Saab, Handelsbank and in private collections in Sweden, Norway, Netherlands, Germany, Denmark and Finland. Father, teacher, friend, he conveyed his warmth, energy and inspiration to many. From the catalog to the project crossing. 2010. Each crossing obviously does not have an end. Our coming into the world may be just a continuation of the crossing. All our life is a crossing, and when our earthly life ends, the next crossing begins. Of course, these thoughts are not new at all. Hundreds of years, artists have been thinking in a likely manner, and apparently they will do the same hundreds of years later. Paleolithic cave paintings are nothing but some of the first attempts to, to depict the crossing, always with the same symbols, a boat, a bird, a human, a tradition shared by all artists of the world who endeavor to find their own formals of the crossing. <laughs>